Hello, and welcome to Painting Our Portrait. What is this vlog for? It's the USD Portrait of a Graduate. We're going to take a deep dive. Look at what it is and how it applies to your classroom, your teaching, your role in USD. Now, this is vlog number one, the light bulb. So what does that mean? Really, I want to kind of help you understand why do we have a portrait of a graduate? Now, before that, let's take a few steps back and think about your teaching. What guides your teaching? Really, at the top, there's the state standards. And, of course, the IEP. They have clear goals. They have clear skills and things that need to be measured. They're clear procedures. At the same time, I know that you teachers also have a third thing that guides, and it's you want students to be successful. Be ready for their futures. Become a success in whatever language they're using. We want students to be able to socialize, collaborate, support each other, have self-advocacy. We want them to be successful adults. The problem with that is standards are clear, IEPs are clear, uh, but how do you define how do you explain what success is? That's what a portrait of graduates for. The problem is we're like, well, what's success mean? And we need to have a common language. We need to have a common goal together to help us be clear and under understanding of how to support students. So the portrait of a graduate has been a three-year project. We've interviewed teachers. We've gotten feedback. We've had some PD Day discussions. All of that, plus we worked with the state in their general portrait of a graduate and pulled in their resources. And we created drafts and then worked through that. And now the portrait of a graduate has been released. Dr. Michelle Tanner talked about it at the last Opening Institute meeting. So what do we do with it now? And that's where we're going to do this vlog series to talk about that. I encourage you to read through the portrait of a graduate yourself. And I'm going to use the term POG often for that. And take a look what it means to be successful. And of course, this doesn't matter if you're PIP or high school, LSL or ASL. We all can do this together. Okay, I'll see you next time.